Well, I think that uh, the, the, there's something about Stravinsky probably more than, than uh, I'd say, even Wagner and all these, these composers that are were very, very opera conscious in the sense that they had a sense of theat theatricality in, in their musical work. Stravinsky was highly theatrical um, in the way he used voices and, and how he would feature um, a colorature singing a nightingale and how he was extremely sensitive to, to um, uh, representing characters uh, in a very poetic way, in a poetic manner. I mean, I, I did the Rake's Progress uh, a couple of years back and, and and how he plays with the character of Nick Shadow, who's a, actually is a kind of a, a, a modern uh, Mephisto, and, and how he he um, he makes him speak in a, in a particular way, and, ha and how Stravinsky uses the language. Of course, I don't speak uh, enough Russian to really <laughs> I don't know enough about Russian to say how, how faithful he is to to the the language. But I can tell you that when he wrote the Rake's Progress, for example, it was uh, his first English English language. Uh, opera, and um, he completely um, broke the rules of, of, of the English prosody and, and, and how he used that to his advantage. So for me, he's, he's a very, very, very exciting uh, composer to, to deal with because um, all of the subtext is in the music. Um, if you want to, uh, for a director to direct a character, uh, to direct a, a singer, uh, you, you don't need to come up with ideas that come from from nowhere, you, you actually look at the score and the, the ideas of how to create the character are in the music. It's very, very clear, very, very precise uh, and very crazy and poetic and devilish and, 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 and uh, so that I, I um, and I came to Stravinsky a bit by chance because I had never been necessarily a great fan of Stravinsky before. I, I knew about his music but I wasn't attracted to it but it's only when I uh, started to uh, be offered to do some Stravinsky pieces that, and, and I was very intrigued at why somebody like Jean Cocteau, for whom I have a lot of uh, admiration, was so intrigued by Stravinsky and, and in his collaboration on, on the uh, Histoire du, uh, du Soldat, uh, and, and then it I kind of it's as if it, I opened a, a Pandora box of possibilities or with Stravinsky. So it's it's great. I mean, it's a it's a fantastic uh, composer to discover.